if you had 3600 c14 ram 1.45 volt what would you tune first my counter question would be my counter question would be i mean obviously is it is it for warzone primarily because this game heats up ram second do you have a fan on your ram what kind of case airflow do you have these are really important questions so if i say if you if it's for warzone no and the case flow is garbage no fan on your ram i would leave it alone dude i rarely go above like 1.46 or 1.47 on streamer rigs and then we can segue this again kind of um the reason why these guys these guys get pre-built built for them um what company did aiden's um power gpu power gpu and the cooling on his computer is so savage in a bad way like it's rough like it's like his, the cooling is terrible right um i can only go 1.45 on his ram before it pegs 50 celsius right i have his cpu at 5.1 gigahertz because it pegs 80 celsius at like 1.28 volts like 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 you know what i mean like 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 what kind of fucking cooling do you have in your in your case you know what i mean like 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 i know like like some people you can run 1.5 volts if they have a fan on it right you can pump more voltage into it get more performance you need to cool your shit down do you know what i mean when you buy a pre-built and that's also a war zone specific problem Warzone specific problem because this game bakes everything. It it will it will 100% CPU load, 100% RAM load, 100% GPU load. It it loads everything, dude. It's a, it's not only this game that does this shit. So this balancing act of voltages and cooling is the most important thing that you can do. For this game so if you i would say i would say if you're if any of your components in your system are around like the 70 75 celsius mark probably wouldn't go above 1.45 volts man you're right or or download hardware info right uh do i have it installed here i do i'll, I'll show you right now there if it, uh the vipers don't have this but the g skill ones do so but your your kit that you described is a g skill one you can go down here dim temperature so check this out after three or four hours of gaming and if you're already approaching 50 celsius or whatever you can't you like you literally can't go any higher even if you wanted to it'll just crash it'll skip it'll do weird shit and war you'll get weird errors you can't go above 50 celsius my man like the game won't let you which is cool in that way too because warzone's like the ultimate benchmark game ultimate benchmark game dude you have one weak link in your system it will let you know quickly that was a good question my man that was a really good question for intel z490 strict c four by eight you're not getting over 3800 with that board dude <laughs> yeah that's not happening maybe um maybe shoot for um yeah that board is dog shit with four four by eight dude maybe go for 3800 14 15 15 35 at 1.5 volts i would uh, around there that that's kind of the ballpark that you're gonna be there with a fan on them and you can't go higher than this anyway it's not gonna fucking happen don't even try or even like 37 33 or something around there one one tick up one tick down you're gonna hit a wall on that motherboard eventually dude oh, like a hard wall um
yeah okay so if you have a 5600 x you're only using okay the way that works is you're using six cores in a game that scales with cores right so you're probably pushing about 170 or 160 fps with that right so you can get away with a lot more voltage on that chip because there's less cores that require feeding from the ram so the ram isn't gonna get as hot right take the i bet you if you take the exact same ram put it on a 5950x or a 10900k you're gonna get away with a lot less in terms of how much voltage you can pump into them because there's just more cores requesting that shit, right it needs to move faster it heats up more hundred percent safe long term they wouldn't do it yeah safe and stable are two different things though you can it's, it's perfectly fine and safe safe is not stable like uh, you could not run that 1.6 volt kit on warzone out of the box not a chance hell no dude not a chance it's not gonna happen you'll crash constantly um